all right so another video and i'm making this one very quick no editing just a single take and the thing is i just came across this very interesting project uh done by someone um over at youtube and uh, it turns out that this person was able to create a nes emulator that would run on your um on your bootloader so what essentially ended up happening is that instead of booting into an operating system you would boot into your uefi bootloader and this only works with 64-bit uefis so i'm on my laptop and i'm booting it onto the uefi bootloader and using that you can actually go ahead and play games uh nes games so i have two open source rooms that i'm going to show today um not going into the uh you know uh, pirated rooms for this one so let's just get into it so nes app dot efi and the room name which is pwn dot ness and then uh screen size is three so that's it that's all you need uh you press enter and uh it, it starts to play so there, there you go game goes so it's all running on your bootloader on your uefi bootloader uh using the efi shell and there is no OS that is booted so you can actually go ahead and take a look so there are a few quirks with this uh, as always again uh, these experimental things aren't always perfect but there was a lot of effort put into it so we can overlook the quirks uh, one of the first few quirk is that it's it doesn't really support uh, audio at all and it's not compatible or it's not a hundred percent compatible with all the games and the biggest issue i'd see for most people is that you cannot go ahead and plug in a usb keyboard and play it's only ps2 keyboard which is fairly odd but uh, on my laptop the internal keyboard is actually hooked up to a usb to, uh, to a ps2 port internally so that works out fine for me so uh, and I've, I've found out a lot of uh, laptops do that so your best bet of trying this out instead on a desktop is on a laptop so anytime you get a chance to uh, you want to try that out again i'll leave a link in the description to the original video by the uh, creator and they will uh, also have it linked to a download directory so you can go ahead and download it for your home sadly it's not open source yet i haven't found out the uh, exact github repository in case it is but as far as i know it's not the other game is i think called nova so nava um and yeah that that works so these are the only two games um which work So I have tried a few of the um, a few other rooms and they all seem to work prof perfectly. So, uh, I haven't gone into any issue of a particular room not working, but it just seems that uh, some of the rooms that the original developer tested didn't work all that well. So that that was the case. So this is. Uh, nova and this is a particular uh, particularly interesting open source um nes game uh, because it has its own engine and everything is open source so you can go ahead and create your own levels uh, as well as just try out the uh, default one so yes uh, i guess thank you so much for watching this was about it playing nes games on your bootloader uh, out of all the things see you guys in the next one